Happy Tuesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. Breaking news, Big Island police are currently investigating reports of a hostage situation at a home in the Leilani Estates near Pahoa. Police confirm with us a special response unit is on scene right now. Leilani Avenue is closed between Highway 130 and Hapu'u, and that's where a suspect is considered to be armed and dangerous. Now, neighboring residents are being asked to evacuate. With Las Vegas affectionately known as the Ninth Island to Hawaii residents, well, there's no surprise there were others with local ties on the Strip last night. People from Oahu, the Big Island, and Maui in Vegas at the time, and one of them at the concert when bullets started flying. Island News reporter Priscilla Luong spoke to one of the men who says the gunfire sounded like fireworks at first until he saw a stampede of people running for their lives. True meaning of Christmas. Jordan, it was so great to see uh, those meals being delivered. Not only were they meals, though, yeah. like you said, there was also necessities like flashlights and things that our Kapuna really, really need. So, so good to see that. Coast Guard and Navy crews, they are looking for that privately owned chopper with two people on board that did go missing last night off the northwest side of Molokai. Now, I did check with the Coast Guard this morning and search and rescue crews. They are currently dealing with 30 mile per hour winds in that area and 12 to 15 foot seas. Today is the 76th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. That attack came with no warning. Torpedo planes struck first. Dive bombers demolished Hickam Field and Ford Island. Bombs tore through battleships. You could see massive explosions, black smoke, and men leaping from burning ships into oil-covered water. Today, a commemoration ceremony is being held at the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center, and by order of the governor, flags at the Capitol and all state agencies will fly at half-staff until sunset today. Animal lovers out there this morning, there's an ugly duckling sticking out like a sore thumb. This among some very elegant sailing ships in Tacoma, Washington. Take a look. The world's largest rubber duck towed into the port Friday. The so-called mama duck weighs 15 tons. She's six stories high. She'll be displayed in the port during a sail ship festival. And just in case you're wondering, well, no, mama duck not available to ride. She's only a viewable attraction. KITV's Mackenzie Stasco live at Schofield Barracks with more on how the group of chefs won and what exactly they made. Good morning, Mackenzie. Staying on the food front this morning, well, if you want to get someone to eat their veggies, try giving them a more seductive name. Hawaiian Airlines gets a giant new cargo and maintenance hangar at the airport and a project seven years in the making. Officials say this is the first step in modernizing the rest of Oahu's airport. The massive hangar, 43,000 square feet. Other airport news starting today. You can fly nonstop from Kona to San Francisco. Alaska Airlines launches the nonstop service today between San Francisco International Airport and Kailua Kona International Airport. Flights from Kona to San Francisco are set to leave at 4.15 every afternoon. Welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. We are having a musical Wednesday this morning and joining me now, we're so thrilled to have you guys in the studio. Uh, Kimie Miner, she is a, an award-winning musician at uh, Georgia Skinner Creative Lab. So what you say, you guys are having a significant event for uh, Hawaiian musicians. Temperatures here for Christmas, so nice. Yesterday, these were taken by me in Lanakai, and temperatures were in the upper 70s to 80s. So, so nice and warm, didn't even feel like Christmas, wintry weather, not a problem over here. But back east, it was definitely a different story. Take a look, in Boston, heavy snow temporarily shut down runways at Logan International. The slick conditions also being blamed for a close call. A jet blue flight while landing, hitting a patch of of ice spinning and skidding off the runway. Happy Wednesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukana with your Island News Midday Update. New at midday in the wake of all the flash flooding on Oahu, wet roadways remain and also debris, including this down line on the windward side. And this could be seen on Kalaheo Avenue near White Sands Place. Traffic does not appear to be impacted, but definitely an eyesore for those in the area. And last night's heavy rain also caused at least two sewers to overflow, threatening two canals. In the 
this morning from the U.S. Missile Defense Agency. The agency and U.S. Navy soldiers aboard the USS Paul Jones have successfully intercepted a target ballistic missile right here in Hawaii. Now, this is a picture of the launch. This is off the Missile Defense Agency's website. The test taking place off the coast of Kauai at the Pacific Missile Range facility. The complex missile defense flight test resulted in the intercept of a medium-range ballistic missile target using standard Missile 6 guided missiles. Now, the test comes amid heightened tensions between North Korea and the U.S. after a missile launch over northern Japan. And this right here, North Korea state video taken Monday when an intermediate range missile identified by the North Koreans as a Hwasong-12 was fired over Japan, landing in the ocean near the island of Hokkaido. Now, going back to that media release from the Missile Defense Agency, directors do say they are keeping track of this and, quote, we will continue developing ballistic missile defense technologies to stay ahead ahead of the threat as it evolves, end quote. And this test marks the second time that an SM-6 missile has successfully intercepted a medium-range ballistic missile target. Well, Arizona Cardinal Rod receiver Larry Fitzgerald is paying a Christmas tribute to Senator John McCain, who is battling brain cancer. That's right. Fitzgerald penning an open letter published by Sports Illustrated offering prayers for the Arizona Republican, who is a big Cardinals fan. Meanwhile, the tragedy continues on in London with last week's fire at the 24-story Greenfell Tower Apartments. That death toll now up to 79. Police say only five victims have been formally identified so far. The death toll could still climb. 17 people are still being treated in London hospitals, nine of those victims in critical condition. Happy Tuesday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. An update for you at Midday. HECO customers are without power today after a car slams into a pole in Waimanalo. And taking a look at the map, just before 5 this morning, a car crashes into a utility pole on Kalaniana Ole Highway. Now, this closed down both directions of the highway by Shriners Beach. And this is new video of the scene and the down utility pole. As a result, over 841 customers were originally without power this morning and at last check Power has been restored to all but eight customers. Hawaiian electric crews expect power to be completely restored by 2.30 p.m. today. New at midday, an early morning fire causes to force some major evacuations at a high rise in the Kaka'ako area. And firefighters responded to a fire in the trash chute at the Symphony Honolulu Luxury Apartments on Ward and Kapiolani. Now, the first alarm went off around 7.15 this morning. The entire high rise was evacuated. About an hour and a half later, officials began and letting residents back in the building and no injuries have been reported. The cause of the blaze or the extent of the damage is under investigation. Also new at midday, a woman accused of stealing several million dollars from an Oahu nonprofit pleads not guilty in court today. Now this is new video of Lola Jean Amorin's arraignment and plea from OCCC today. Amorin is accused of taking seven million dollars from the Ark of Hawaii and she's charged with theft, computer fraud, money laundering and other charges as well. Her trial is set for January. January 15th. Well, Oahu ringing in New Year's Eve with a bang. Firecrackers are now on sale. Hundreds of people rushed into Don Quixote at 6 in the morning to fill their shopping carts with firecrackers. And that fire department issued 21,000 permits for the island of Oahu. As always, we'll have more on Island News tonight at 5, 6, and 10.